We've talked about one- and two-dimensional spaces. Let's talk about three-dimensional space. Every point in a three-dimensional space can be described by a triple of numbers, x, y, and z. Now, it's not so easy to depict a three-dimensional space on a flat piece of paper or a computer screen, so we have to imply their values by drawing boxes. I'll show you what I mean. For example, let's plot the points 2, 3, 1, and negative 1, 1, 3. First, we need an x-axis and a y-axis and a z-axis. Now, why did I lay them out this way? Traditionally speaking, if you point your hand in the direction of the x-axis and then curl your fingers toward the y-axis, your thumb should point in the z direction. This is called the right hand rule. Anyway, so we want to plot the point 2, 3, and 1. That is 2 on the x-axis, so we want to have a we want to be 2 on the x-axis, which means we want to have our x value, oh, that's a bad line. No. We want our x value to be somewhere along that line. We want 3 on the y axis. So here's 3, 1, 2, 3. So we want our y value to be somewhere there, but we also want to be 1 point up. So we want something like this. We draw over like this. We draw over like this. Do, 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 do. And we've made a box. How do I emphasize this box? We have made a box that is... We have made a box... Ugh, it's hard to see. Let's get rid of that last line, those last lines. Um, we've made a box that is too wide along parallel to the x direction, three wide parallel to the y direction, and one up and down. So this point right here at the very tip is the point two, three, one. Well, I'm going to indicate that. Two, three, one. Now to plot negative one, one, three. Oh, let me clean all this up. Is there a way for me to do that faster? Not really. Negative 1, 1, 3. We want negative 1 in the x direction, so we want somewhere down here. Positive 1 in the y direction, so we go this way, and we go 1, 2, 3 up, which means we have sort of this box. 3 tall, and 1 wide, and negative 1 in the x direction. So this point up here, is the point negative one, one, three. Do I expect you to be able to do this? Oh, I guess not. But I want you to understand that you can describe any point in a three-dimensional space with three different coordinates. Uh, the people who design um, parts of and, and machinery and such like that, they use what's called CAD CAM, Computer Aided Design, and the computers keep track of this sort of thing for them. And you can describe the shape of an object giving its three-dimensional components. There are now 3D printers now. They can print with little bits of plastic, squirting plastic. They can create three-dimensional objects that have never been able to be created before. But you have to speci specify in three-dimensional coordinates where you want every little glob of plastic stuck together. Very, very exciting. So, anyway, this is a three-dimensional space. There are three dimensions to travel in. At this point, if you want to make your x-coordinate a little bit higher, you could move in this direction. If you want to make your y-coordinate higher, you could go in this direction. If you wanted your z-coordinate to be, get bigger, you could move around. You have three degrees of freedom. So this is three-dimensional space.